sisters. Hi, blessings. We are happy to be with you today. My name is Christina Kraus and this is Flora Boldo. Hello. We are with Children Are Important and we are wrapping up today, finishing a series with eight videos <laughs> for teachers called Taking Care of Your Garden of Children's Ministry. And we're here in my garden as we share with you ideas of how you can make your garden look green, fresh, not the garden, but the children's ministry to keep them excited, all your teachers happy, your children connecting to God. All right, so we're going to dive in today. Lesson eight, taking care of your garden of children's ministry, sun in your garden. A. Hey, what do we have for? Preventing problems. And keep for the teacher. This is my special box. <laughs> okay, Christy knows about my special box. Okay, you can prepare in a special box and for example with colors and glue and colors pen and other thing or stuff. For example, here I have a oh nice a puppet. Uh -huh. Finger puppets. Okay, why you need this? Okay, here. Uh, you can just look for extra things that are need for any activity. No, not only for teaching the class. You know. Oh, sorry, I speak Spanish. <laughs> if only need um, other stuff for extra activities. You yes. need preparing a box with. Please don't forget. Yes. <laughs> tape. Okay. The tape and glue. Very, very special for extra activities. The here is my special box. Okay. I, I would like sharing with you. And the favorite for children. Ooh, stickers. Stickers. I like them so much. Okay. Mom <laughs> said good job. You <laughs> special box or kit for teachers. It's very easy. And for activity, clock with alarm and white and colored papers. Yeah. And for prizes, candies, small plastic toys like that, for example. Ooh. Yeah. Stickers and certificates. Yeah. It's all simple. <laughs> Come well, on, it's try. easier for me. If I have the kit ready or the box, because then I don't have to uh, be, I can wake up late on Sunday and go, oh, I'm from the church and go, oh, my box is ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> okay, so B, we B. have um, water your garden, showing love to children. So today what we want to look at is that God wants us to raise up children to be men and women of God, and that has to be how they're living every day. So sometimes you focus on memorizing, so we want them to memorize these verses, read the Bible. How many verses do you have memorized? But the problem is memorizing doesn't always mean you're going to live it. Yeah. In fact, some people are doing very good at memorizing on Sunday, but on Monday they are living something else. And I want to share with you from the Bible, I have the Bible here on my cell phone. Uh, Matthew chapter 7, the wise and foolish builders, is verse 24. It says, therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine, and we could use that for the Bible, the whole Bible are the words from God. Everyone who hears the words of the Bible puts them into practice is like the man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the wind blew and beat against that house. Yet it did not fall. Now this doesn't say because every man who memorizes these words of mine is like a man who built his house on the rock. No, no, no. Everyone who puts them into practice. And those, but, verse 26, but everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house 
on the sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against this house, and it fell with a great crash. So actually, if you memorize a verse, but you're not putting it into practice, you are building your house on the sand, mm. and it can fall. So we just want to encourage you, if you're going to show love to children, you've got to help them put into practice the Bible stories, the memory verses, and not just be memorizing them. It doesn't matter if they know all the names of the brothers of Joseph, but can they live just like Joseph to keep the dream in their hearts and believe God? That's putting it into practice. Okay, so I gotta stop now. No, it's a very no, hard. No. <laughs> okay. So C, we have um, weed your garden, maintaining discipline. Have fun. <laughs> so we want to have fun. Typically, the, the teacher speaks and all the students listen and take notes. But in Sunday school class, it's better to vary how you do it. For example, do the class with short Bible readings, read a passage. This way the students know the questions and can answer them. If the children are small, you can use like pictures like Floor has prepared here. So she has prepared this for the story of the unforgiving servant. So saying, okay, you are forgiven, yippee, and he goes, yeah. yippee, and then he goes out and finds somebody and says, wait a minute, you owe me money, please forgive me, no, give me all you owe, I'll throw you in jail, comes back, uh-oh, God saw, servant saw, they whisper, goes to the king and says, you wicked servant, I forgave you that huge debt, and you couldn't have mercy on your fellow servant. So here's one way that you could tell this Bible story for the children in a different way, especially for younger children, helping them understand the verse and the whole passage by having pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. So have fun teaching the children the Word of God. Okay? So that is today's video lesson. The three things we have is a kit for the teachers. Woohoo! If you make your kid ahead of time, it's easy, and then you're ready for each Sunday. Congrats! Oh, <laughs> stickers! I love stickers! <laughs> yeah. And also, showing love to the children. We want to help them live the Word of God, not just memorize it. Or they'll be building their house on the sand. Bummer. And weed your garden, maintain the discipline. One way to keep discipline in your class is to have fun with them. And... Do the story in a different way, like with pictures. Okay? okay. So what's the homework assignment today, Flora? Uh, preparing a, Ooh. Yeah, a simple kit for teachers. Okay. So today's the, homework assignment, do they have to prepare their kit? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And send a pic. Send by, a picture. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so this is a serious homework assignment. Doesn't matter how many items. You can have a very simple box. Whatever you want to have ready for your church on Sunday, today's homework assignment Prepare your box, have a few items in there, a color crayon or stickers, and take a picture, send to us, and that is your homework for Lesson 8. Yeah. So you can do all eight homework assignments and receive your certificate at the end of this series. All right. All right. Thank you for being with us today, and it's been a joy for Flora and I to be with you for these eight videos as you've learned to become a better teacher and you can take care of the garden of your children's ministry and not have it all droopy and brown, but alive, green, lots of water, lots of sun, and no weeds. <laughs> Thanks for the staff, for Jenny, Monse, Julio. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yes, and also Suki for putting up all the links. Suki, yeah! yeah. And everyone who helped with the camera work and all the, all the extra. Yeah. effort that goes into this project. Thank you. All right. See you for the next series. Whee! You can receive your diploma. Just one small homework assignment for each of eight different videos, and you can graduate today.